Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden and I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Waybop. Now, uh, in the description box is a link to my step out. Now, in my step out, uh, th it was a, this is a really neat tangle because it, it's kind of like interlocking rings, um, you know, kind of hit the Celtic knot idea. Um, but generally, those are difficult to do without some kind of a grid pattern and a lot of planning and stuff like that. So um, uh, Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas uh, of Zentangle uh, created this and it is absolutely brilliant. So you can kind of have that effect, but without the planning. So we kind of stay true to the idea of Zentangle. Now this one, I did add one step prior to um, uh, Rick and Maria's uh, step out because I needed this. <laughs> um, being the non-artist that I am, um, I needed to have the step. So this one, oh, let me preface this with: you can use you have you use an even number. We're gonna we're gonna start with creating a ring of seeds, um, and seeds are just um, well. I'll, I'll show you what that is in a minute, uh, if you don't know. Um, but you use an even number, and so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use eight. Um, I was thinking, gosh, I could do four, but you know what? My step out shows eight, so that's what I'm going to stick with here. And I'm using the traditional uh, three and a half inch uh, Zentangle uh, white tile um, because this one, you need to have a little bit of room. I could probably try to do it small, but there's no way you'd be able to see it. So, um, all right. So this one, again, I so to, to have my seeds go in a ring shape, I had trouble doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with... Um, I'm just putting it a dot. I'm putting dots in a square and I'm going to separate them quite a bit. This is something that you can play with how far apart you want your seeds. Trying to make it centered, but meh, I might not be. So I made a square with just, just a little dot. And now, like if, if I turned it, I would do another, I could do another square here, whatever works for you. But I'm going to basically, um, I'm going a little bit higher because I'm, I, I'm trying to make it a circle. But I'm I'm subdividing each. I'm subdividing this square with extra dots. So actually, it's like a square. If I had turned it again, I could make another square. Uh, but this is just to get my get my placement. Now, I did say traditionally in Zentangle, yeah, we, no grid lines, no you know all of that. But this is actually, I mean, this is part of the seed. So I just needed to start it off a little bit. All right, so then the next step that we do is, again, we're making these seeds, but we also want the seeds to to uh, um, to aim in an outward direction. That was also something that I personally had a challenge with. So my solution was, and again, the seed is just, a, so it's a curved line you know, going up and then a curved line going the opposite direction, creating a seed. So what I do is I'm I'm keeping my hand here, for the most part, except for when I move it to, to change the tile, but then I'm turning the tile so that way, and I'm doing this. I'm doing this in the same direction always. So this just helps for me to ensure, and it's not perfect, but it helps me to have all of my little seeds, and some of them are different shapes. <laughs> Or uh, you different, little bit different sizes, but that you know, this is it's all okay. And then again, just keeping turning the tile, so that way I feel satisfied for the most part. They are they are all angled out because I know when I first was trying this tangle, that was just that was an it was it made it not enjoyable for me. So you know, outside of so I find it an acceptable addition <laughs> in my book. I'm sticking to that, my story here, to just put a little dot just to kind of mark and then go because it becomes part of the tangle. And so in my book, that's okay. All right. So the next step is we're going to connect pairs of these. And what I do with this is so I'm going from just picking one and actually, you know, what, let me start from this direction because I'm doing we're going to do a curved line. And so I'm but I'm not going to go from end to end. I'm, I'm going to on the outside of this seed and I'm making a curve line coming to the outside of this seed. Now, nothing between these two and we're just going to go around. We're pairing them up. And again, just a curved line. 
there are some neat variations. I'm going to, I'm doing this one just, I'm, I'm staying true to, um, you know, what the original was. And there are lots of ways to play. This would make a, a too long of a video. It would not be a quickie video. I have done a class in this. Maybe sometime if I do another class, I will record it and uh, put that out there. Or just, you know, make sure that you connect with me. If you like the video, wait, wait till afterwards. And I'll say, if you like it, if you, if you like my style, then, um, you know, uh, follow me so that way then you can uh, see when I'm doing some classes. All right, so now we have these paired up and we're going to kind of do the same thing but on the top and on the ones that aren't connected. So these two which are not connected already, we're going to connect those two and I'm doing the same idea, curved line kind of coming on the outside of one seed to the outside of the other seed. This one because it's a little bit bigger, it um, <laughs> sometimes it makes it for a little bit of a challenge at least for me because I, I like to you know kind of it's nice to have your hand just go but when you start getting into a little bit bigger strokes then you just have to work with it all right so now we have them all paired up and now we start the aura fest <laughs> um, for those that don't know what an aura is it's basically outlining so these so the curved lines that we just made we're going to aura that plus the seed so i'm going to start in here and um sometimes these ones are nice to to have a little bit wide after you've done this you know and play you know played with it at least once then you will know um like other ways that you can play with it uh, the other ideas that there are for um uh for modifying this other variations other tangulations as we call it and so we're going to do this for all four now one thing that i kind of keep in mind well and, you know so if you've looked at the step outs when you do this once and i just I, mean, I actually hadn't done it until now i was like oh when i line this up i should kind of eyeball and just see okay if i was going to continue would that make a nice curve line there because eventually that we will be putting a little curved line in there so that's some of the things that as you do this that you want to sort of kind of keep in mind as you're doing it and then there's also as i mentioned there's some ways that you can uh, vary this and uh, some of the steps you need to figure out which ones you have to modify from uh, from the original step outs all right so we have all four of those done now we're going to Aura the interior. So this curved line here, we're going to aura that. And I always think, especially for uh, tangles like this that are more involved. Actually, this is a tangle that you end up putting tangles in, and especially if you do it larger, like I, you know, I've done this on a nice zendala, um, and it's just really, really, uh, really fun tangle, and and just you know, lots of neat ideas you can take from it. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, all of those interior are done. Next, we're going to connect. So, the, so as you can see, so we're starting. So we have kind of four rings here, and the beginning you know, of, of other ones. So this one, uh, I know you can, you can shape the top of this basically however you want. You can, you could have shaped these however you want, uh, but this one, we kind of did like a, um, like a, a leaf shape. Oh, and, and I've gotten close to the edge here. So we'll see how well this goes. All right. So for this one, uh, if you are familiar with the Halibau technique, uh, so we're going to utilize that, um, as well as the, the, or those are kind of the two, uh, techniques that we use in this. So looking at this line, because we're going to do the outside first. And so I'm going to take this outside line. Uh, I'm going to sort of come up, you know, we'll see because I'm off the page. Um, this one will just end up being squatty or something or just off the page, which is okay too. Um, all right. So I'm going to take it. So if, if I was continuing this, oh, I would start here and then this would go up. This isn't, this isn't the greatest example because I'm off the page one. Let me do this. And then I'm turning the tile so that way I can kind of get the same look. Let me do it here where I'm not off the page. All right. So looking here, 
you know, it's kind of like a, like a flame top. And so, uh, or an S, because as you can see, it's an S shape, you know, going one direction and then uh, going the other direction. Now, sometimes I have a challenge doing it the opposite way. So then I will just flip my tile so that I can come up. And then, well, I haven't met, uh, we can fix those other little things later that I just did here. Let's try it this way. So coming, looking where my line would be. Sometimes mine end up really odd. When I do this shape, um, for whatever reason, sometimes my hand doesn't like it. I like it, I like it better when, it, when I make the S, you know, a little squattier like that. <laughs> but it's all okay. Now, we're going to aura this. So this, this, this makes this one kind of easy. So same idea. Now we're going to look and match up this interior right here. And just, like I said, just auraing that. This too is where, you know, you could make it, you know, you don't have to aura the top shape. You could, you could make that, that a ring, um, if you want. Again, lots of fun that can be had in many ways too. Cause like I said, this, you know, you don't have to mirror that or uh, aura this shape. All right. You could just make them all rings if you want to as well. Uh, let's see. Okay. So now we have that. I have all four of them done. Now the last step is we're going to aura these two. So again, just watching where, where your line was. And if you need to, and this is what I do is I kind of trace my, take my pen and kind of go over where I, where I would be and then put my pen down like as if I had already, if I, I, as if I was drawing this new, sometimes it just helps um, for me to line it up. And voila. And then there we have it done. Um, now the next step, this is up to you. And actually, you know, instead of doing it, because I do, I, my aim is to keep these, oh, the time is, I think I spent more time on, on some other ones that are a little bit easier. Let me, let me though, just, I'll, I will share some ideas. So, um, you get to then decorate, decorate, color it in. You can just leave it the way it is. That's fine. One of the things that I enjoy doing is, uh, with this is just, just even the simple aura. So continuing, cause we've been doing a lot of auraing, right? So like here, um, yeah, we'll do that. So here, so, you know, I'm just going to aura the shape. You could also add, you know, if you have some favorite, favorite tangles that you can do small, you could put them right inside. Actually here. So here's neat. I'm just going to, I'm gonna maybe just going to do this one aura and then you could do something on the inside if you want to. That's fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the one and I'm just going to leave it because I'm thinking I kind of like that idea. Uh, something else is, uh, it is so th also taking a look and thinking, well, are there some places that I don't like so much and I need to course correct? I'm looking at right here. I'm like, well, okay. So as you know, filling in, well, as you know, I, I haven't mentioned it yet on this video. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know, my course correction, number one, filling it in. Well, no, actually it would be two. No, number one is waiting until, you know, till you're doing the shading. And so like this one, so I'm just, I'm going to change the shape of this and make this a little bit nicer seed because you, what, as you're filling it in, you can expand it out a little bit. That's the only drawback is with the filling in is that as long as you can make it a little bit bigger and maybe it's just, you know, uh, adjusting the curve. As long as it can go bigger to do what you need it to do, then you're good. It just doesn't go the other way. So here's another one. I see, and this is kind of a safe area. And I happen to be using a brown pen. Otherwise, I would have grabbed... Actually, I'm, I take it back. It's not brown. It's sepia. And it's so close to black that I grab it by mistake. So I decided I'm going to hopefully use it up. <laughs> Uh, 
but yeah, filling these in, that is always good. And that, you know, and it just, it, it also adds to kind of the drama. Oopsie in here. What is it? It's like every other one. It's, oh, it's, and it's, they're all on the same side, I think. Oh, isn't that funny? This is sometimes where you learn stuff about, <laughs> it's like about yourself. It's like, okay, I need to start paying attention and seeing what, what is it that I'm doing there. Especially when it's a consistent something. <laughs> All right. And like I said, I'm not going to take the time to fill in the entire tangle because we can see pictures on that. But I wanted to give you give you some uh, tips and suggestions. And because those little seed things were just bugging me, we must fill those in. <laughs> now. Let me share something else the thought so if you fill something you know in with you know the, you know either well like i said i'm doing this with this sepia color or or black one of the neat things that you can also do is um, you could go back after you've done that if you want to color in a section and you can go back and um Add with a white jelly roll or one of the jelly rolls that uh, that works well over uh, over black. You can go uh, and put white over top of that, and you know, and entangle on top of it, and it's really really neat. Or you know, like you could add a line or or something. Just lots of things that uh, that can happen. So, as I mentioned, so you, you it, this is up to you. You can decorate it as you wish add color uh, as we uh the timing of this video just passed uh saint patrick's day uh, this was uh one that i had done actually i've done one similar a while ago um and th this is neat because i i made rings out of all of them so instead of doing the the you know this actually this looks like poke leaf if you've ever done the tangled poke leaf uh that's what that looks like and i'm sorry this is gonna yeah we'll add some weight up here I'll find something else to do with that. And I'll do that to all of them. <laughs> oh, the things that bother us. Um, yeah, so this one, you know, and I, I, I did some curved lines here and then decided, well, I made it a, you made a four leaf clover in the center. Um, and I used some jelly roll. So I have uh, like gold coins, um, you know, the gold and the rainbow all mixed in. And then I used a gray jelly roll on the outside uh, with some print uh tangle. And then just with... Um, um, uh, charcoal or a uh, chalk pencil added some some blue on the inside so I had some nice uh, nice uh, sun oh here's another one so this was one that we did uh, from the class actually that one I didn't I didn't do the outside but I added flux on the inside so just to give you some idea so this was strictly aura ing aura ing in different colors and then adding some neat shading in and again I like sometimes you know if you can fit if you can fit a tangle in uh, you know, in a, in a small shape like that. This is Rick's version of Flux. That's what I think it's one of my favorites. Um, and this was uh, a similar shape. And, and again, you know, you know, I, I have just this shape sometimes when I'm going the other direction doesn't work well. So I decided, well, let's just, we'll, we'll color it in with, uh, uh, with a red, uh, chalk pencil, which is what I did. And I, and I, and I, I, I use it. Oh, wow. I go dark on the outside when I'm doing it, and then with the tortillon, just bringing that chalk on the inside so it creates its own uh, kind of glow, if you will, or puffiness without adding any white. Um, so then I did the tipple on the inside, did some oring, and this one I kind of did a flower. Um, and let's see, oh, and I don't have my bunny one handy, but um, I'll have to find a picture. Uh, but this one, we it, it was called Hardy Way Bop. Um, if I, I can look for the instructions for that. I think that's on a Zentangle blog post and I will, uh, if I find that, I will put that in the description box. Um, but this one again, so we modified this. So instead of doing, um, you know, this flame, we just went in and then on that, uh, let's see, that would have, this would have been the last step where we connected the rings, just did it a little bit different shape. So this one you just have to play with a little bit and have fun and decide you know oh well what you know what do you want to do with it and and then figure out at what step do you need to uh take care of what you need to do 
so that way you can get the result that you want. So with that, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, so this is a uh, again a bit more involved tangle, uh, but it is it is so fun and uh, so many options. Um, you know, for it that I know you're going to enjoy it when you do it. And it's just one of those that do have, do have to have some patience. Uh, I would love to hear uh, your comments about it in the comment section. And if you liked uh, the video, thumbs up are great to have. Um, if you didn't like the tangle, though, just give me some comments. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yes, if you like the video, thumbs up appreciated. Uh, if you want to be notified of, uh, if you like the video enough to want more, um, feel free to click that subscribe button and uh, the notification bell if you wish. And that that should, I think it might send you an email or something um, when I put a, post a new video or pop it up on your phone or something. Um, anyway, with that, I wish you very happy tangling.